All righty, Femi Fam, take your love vitamin. Let's take a look and see who or what you need to be aware of, um, what you need to be in the known of to be cautious with. Take your love vitamin. Thank you for your love and support to the channel. All right, Holy Spirit, let's show the fam their overall energy, what's around them. Sometimes you don't realize what's inside of you or your worth, your, your true value. Um, that people look at you and say, oh my God, this person is so lucky. This person is so blessed. All right, Holy Spirit, what do the divine feminine need to know about themselves, their energy? Yep, collaboration. See, you are the kind of person people want to connect with because I knew it. You are the clear vessel. Sometimes you don't know your true words. Sometimes you don't understand your true value. Sometimes you don't don't. Sometimes you don't know to negotiate. Sometimes you don't know not to say no. Sometimes you may not know not to have boundaries. So you've accessed a portal. In this portal, you are getting things done for yourself. So people look at you like, man, this fam has a lot going on. They're a clear vessel. They can see things clearly. They can hear things clearly. They can make things happen. I would love to share that energy with them. So therefore, you have to be mindful of who comes towards you because everybody may not have good intentions. The energy may not be pure. They may look at you as your beneficial. They may look at you as um, an asset a tangible asset and not value your true worth that you're pure be present this could be someone here who wants to be in your presence this could also be someone who wants to give you something <clears throat> to flatter you yeah somebody wants to give you something let's take a look who's coming towards the divine feminine what do they need to be aware of about this person coming towards them what do they need to be aware of what do they need to be aware of the temperance card. Now, this is a person right here. They're no push over. They take their time. They have a way about themselves. Very temperate. There's a person right here, very balanced out. So that it is not, it won't always be a person or an energy that you can tell, okay, they're up to something. But see here, the seven of swords, you got to be discerning of a lie. You have to be discerning of someone here that's actually been a spec, that's actually being or is a spectator. Sneaky energy. See this queen of wands? This could be someone who's spiritually or religious, manipulative, or a person that has an attraction to you and their overall goal or motive is to get you in the bed not to actually get to know you there is something this person wants from your energy there is something this person wants from you now i heard uh direction this could be a person who's coming in your direction because they want to ask you something about them like where do you see me heading where do you see me going what do you think the nine of pentacles um, this person right here is very methodical. They take their time. So this this definitely won't be an offer that happens right away. It won't be a situation that takes right away. You won't be able to pick up on it suddenly for everybody. You may have to pay attention because this person does subtle things. The king of pentacles. Something here is also about the energy of being flattered. Something they may do. See this, um, his hand being extended out. This person is going to try to find a way to flatter you, to offer you something. It's like a person is saying, if I can get you to drink this, if I can get you to eat this. Um, not saying a person is going to poison you, but eat my words, you know, drink my knowledge, listen to my wisdom. So a person wants to extend an offer to you, but there's a catch 22 here. It's something fishy. Is something very suspicious. See, collab remember that first card that came out, collaboration, the page of wands. Someone here looks at you like, man, if I could just get around this person, they got good energy. They got good vibes. I could get so much from them. I could learn so much from them. I could get so many clothes. I could get so many shoes. They could be my free ride to work. This is also the kind of person that it's like a leech, but an indirect leech. You know how people give you sob stories and they always have something going on, but they just don't lie and tell about the truth of what they've been doing. Somebody here, their motive is they are a hustler. They like to hustle people. They like to lie. They like to finesse people. But this is the same kind of person that will stab you in the back. So you need to be aware and attentive of a person taking their time, wanting to befriend you, wanting to associate with you, trying to make some sort of alliance with you, collaborating with you. Um, It could be at work, the Eight of Pentacles. This is like a fake friend energy. Uh, it could be a fake family member. This is fake love. 
coming to show you fake love because of page of wands uh-huh see the truth of the matter is you're a nine of pentacles you're solid you're stable you can do things on your own now some of you all you have people that just like to be nosy and get into your business but they want to come off this could also be seduce you tempt you lure you get you to do something in a uh it's it's actually like trying to get you to do something abnormal and they try to present like it's normal unconventional trying to present like it's conventional because they can talk really slow somebody here could be very educated very knowledgeable or just good with words or that kind of person that can fit in any type of environment or society they are good at talking to any kind of person so they can meet and greet you on your level to make you think y'all are on the same level but in actuality they have a motive there is a hidden motive to be in your life and you need to find out why some of you all you help people release uh karmic soul ties uh negative karma bad karma you help them bring balance in their life and it's like you know redemption thank you you help them have redemption because you're a pure vessel those of you all that resonate with being chosen that's why people like to come towards you because it's like they get favor because they're all around you holy spirit what is this offer this is a two-faced person for some of you all. They may say one thing and do another. They could talk about you behind your back. Some of you all, it could be a um, tactic to get you to work with them, do their work, get their work done for them. It could be to make them look good. Um, I hear penny pinching. So somebody could be penny pinching. I see a lot about a broom. So someone here could try to, you know, um, I hear broom and I hear side. Like, so their side could be bothering them. This could be someone that wants to say, oh my God, man, I've been having such a hard time cleaning my home. I have this going on. You know, knowing that you have the gift of help. And that's what it is. They, 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 know, they know what your gift is and they know how you use it and how well you use it. And they're saying, man, if I can just convince such and such to do this without asking them, because they don't want to pay you. They don't want to compensate you. They want you to do it for free. So this is like indirect pimping you of your God-given gift. Some of you are of your, your pure talent. Others of you are of your pure energy. It's what you can do for them without them having to compensate you, acknowledge you, but they get all the praise, they get all the glory, they get all the compensation for it because it turns this person into the page of pentacles. And see this page of wands, they knew that you had the ability to do something. Now, it could also be just coming to learn something from you and then they go and mimic it and say it was them, but actually it was you. Be also be aware of people asking you where your gifts are, like what you're gonna be doing. Hey, I see you in school. What's your plans? And you say, Yeah, when I got out of school, I plan on you know getting this job at such and such, and I'm gonna work there for maybe like five, ten years because in the next 15, 20 years, I plan on creating this organization. I plan on getting this established. Someone here is looking at you, wanting to know your long term goals because they may be in a position to start it now, and they're going to copy you. What's the Knight of Pentacles here? Yep, see here? It's to trick you, the Seven of Cups. Someone here is coming with scatterbrains. See the Seven of um, Swords, then the Six of Swords. This is a person right here. What they want to do is come, and then they're going to go right back out. It's something this person wants to come and get from you, and they're going to take it from you. This is a robber, a killer, a thief. Spiritually, energetically, they come to rob you destroy you by all means necessary rob you kill you to completely destroy you without you even knowing that it's them or that they have a word in it now this is this could also be a person that's been that's being sent to you to see hey find out what they're doing what's their next step it could, those of you all that are you know that are in competitive positions competitive roles company jobs you need to be mindful because people desire to get next to you See here, yeah, to trick you. Now, there could also be a person here that's working hard to make their work look like yours. See the Eight of Pentacles, those bottoms, those bottles at the bottom? This could be someone here that's trying to figure out how you make something, how you cook something, what ingredients you use, and they go and, they go and invent something. And it's, it's, it's actually what you've been doing, but they're doing it and they're going to start selling it. But you were planning on starting this business. You're working on your business plan. You're working on this part. Is this... It doesn't always have to be business. Just be mindful of how much you share with personal, intimate information. What's the Seven of Swords intending? Give them more on the Seven of Swords. For some of you all, it could be more than one person. It could be three. 
See that five of pentacles? This could also be borrowing money, not paying you back. Um, I see a couch and I hear couching when someone boarding as well. When someone comes and live with you, I don't have enough money to pay, but when I get you know this settlement, I'm going to pay you back. It's always favors that cannot be um, compensated or payment rendered up front. See the eight of pentacles? Now, see, what you don't realize is there's an energy of blessings that fall in your life. And people want to come and tap into your vibration, tap into your energy because of what they can reproduce off of it, what they can benefit from it. You are a hard worker. You are very diligent. And people notice that. But this is a person who wants to just come and take from you. So be aware fake friends, fake associates, even it could be fake family members, uh, new people. Be mindful, be discerning of fake love. You have a power that people want to connect with. Some of you all, you could be, you know, um, a loner. And it's like people that are loners that don't have a lot of friends or they're not always around a lot of people. People like to know why. So it's just pure out of nosiness, pure nosiness. Oh, what do the fans need to know? What do the fans need to know? Those of you all dating, make sure you're dating someone that's on your level. The Holy Spirit is saying stop dating people beneath your potential, beneath your level. And this is not just financial, this is vibrational. You cannot connect with people that has been beneath your vibration. It's not conducive for you. Also, people see things that some of you all have been through and they're like, man, he or she looks good. How did they get through that? See here? First house, I am worthy of true love and happiness. How you look. Something is all about how you look. Your dress, your appearance. And people are like, man, I, I didn't ever think they would get out of this place. How did they get out of that? Also, it's all about how you're doing it. Who's helping you? Someone here did not expect you to make it. Relax your mind. Let go. Don't stress. Don't worry. You don't have to be like, I don't know if this resonates. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, just keep doing what you're doing. Because see, there it is, the 11th house. Thinking like you. And not only thinking like you and being well. This is Some of you all need to identify people that try to act like y'all have things in common, but you really don't. Something is a blur to someone here. And the Holy Spirit is saying, take time, pay attention. You know, how was your life going before this person came into your life? Why all of a sudden are you confused? Are you questioning yourself? Are you second guessing yourself? Don't think that everybody is your friend. The 11th house. Don't think that you really have the same thing in common. See if this situation, this relationship is mutually beneficial. Now, is this person wanting to be your friend or do they have some organized, you know, plan, plot, and ploy against you? See, your 10th house, and some of you all, you're being preyed upon. You're being profiled. You could be a single man, single woman that people think or thought or knew or grew up without your daddy or you have some sort of daddy issues. You're being profiled. For people to say certain things to you, to get you to divulge your information, what you went through, and then they go and mimic you some sort of way. There's a lot of mimicking here I, I keep hearing. A lot of you all have people at work that are envious of you. Some of you all, it's because you travel to foreign places. This is letting you know you need to be ready for this shift because... Sometimes you may be in a place to where you can do things and people just want to catch up, keep up, or get ahead of you. Some of you are going into uh, becoming more of a leader, leading figure. You're, begin you're beginning to obtain social status. People are going to like you, but not like you and love you, but like you because they want to get what you have or because they want to be like you. All right, close this out. Hold this yep. Our Lady of Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. You have a light that people can see. It naturally and organically shines. Now, here is the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my every everything is material for my liberation. Some of you are very blessed, very financially secure, stable on your own, and people want to tap into that. This could be people wanting to collaborate with you to take them to another level, to change to change some sort of karma or dividends in their bank account. 
the saint of spoken words every word i say becomes a prayer everything you say happens everything you says comes to pass i am the author of my own story that's how powerful you are the power of your words and people want you to speak in their life that's how folks want your advice because when you say things you can act you can activate the atmosphere and make things happen favorable in other people's situation so that shows how potent your gift with god actually is don't just and this is not just talking this is prayer to pray for me all right be, be aware of these leeches y'all <laughs> energetic and spiritual leeches just people coming towards you to make you an offer but is it really mutual is it really mutual beneficial are they getting something and you're giving something? Getting something is it equal. Is this truly a friend? Is this person wanting to be a part of your crew? Y'all build a crew or are they a groupie? Are they trying to turn you into that? Peace and blessings, great day, fans. I hope this helps. Namaste.